It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl today. Two outstanding elementary schools playing our game. Let's meet them now. First from Akakik Academy, say hello to Sashin Bahari, Vincent O'Neill, and Danny Young. And from Beltsville Academy, our team is Sutita Fumipek, Grace Destacho, and Luz Villanueva. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with the easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10 points, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately the toughest question of them all worth 25 points. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds, one of these two good-looking teams will come back to play our game again. Let's go over and make sure everything's working properly. The guys here in the good-looking lab coats, Vince, would you try your buzzer? Thank you. Good luck to you, to Danny, and to Session. And Grace, would you try your buzzer? It too seems to be in good shape. Good luck to you, ladies, Grace and Luz and Sutita. Are we ready? Yes. Let's do this. Let's have a great game. May the better team win. We go alphabetically, A before B. So, Akakik, let's start the game. Vincent, give me a category and a number. We're going to go for Zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams, to start a game, we have a visual question. Look at the monitor, please. Teams, even though this caterpillar has nothing in common with grizzlies or other earth signs, it is still called a woolly what? Mammoth. Ak Akakik. Mammoth. Not, what do you say? A woolly mammoth. Ma no, not a woolly mammoth. Good try. Beltsville, even though this caterpillar has nothing in common with grizzlies or other earth signs, it is still called a woolly what? What do you think, ladies? A uh, woolly grizzly? A woolly bear. A woolly bear. That's why grizzly was thrown in as a clue. An earth sign is also an adjective that means bear. So that's what you, those were your clues there. No points. We'll try again. Red. Vincent? Um, let's go for uh, Dateline for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, the dilapidated menagerie that contains lions and tigers and bears is inherited by a family in a new movie called We Bought a What? Akakik. The movie title is We Bought a Zoo. We Bought a Zoo, exactly right. Good. Thank you, Danny, for your assist on that. Okay, Vince, you drew first blood. You got the first points. Go again. Uh, we're going to go for um, Science Potpourri for five. Science Potpourri for five points. Teams, NASA scientists say that the new mission to Mars is going to be so fantastic that it will turn into science fact what was once only science what? Akaki. Science fiction. You got that right. Fiction will turn into fact. Good. Go. Red. Uh, we're going to go Dateline for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, recently a Swedish scientist won an environmental award because she discovered that if you put a fence around an African garden and dot it with beehives, it will keep what big pachyderms from getting inside and eating the vegetables? Beltsville. Elephants? Elephants, that's right. Elephants maraud African gardens all the time, but they're afraid of bees because the bees go up their trunks and they sting them. Good answer. Go, Grace. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, what parasitic plant is oftentimes referred to in the Holly Jolly Christmas Carol where it says it hangs and someone comes by and you can get kissed beneath it, Beltsville? Mistletoe. Mistletoe. Hi-ho the mistletoe. That's it. Good. 60 for Akakik, 70 for Beltsville. Now you're cooking with gas. Keep going. Go green. 
Um, Zoo prayed for five. Zoo prayed for five points. Teams, although these shaggy bovines don't fly, what football winged food is named for them? Buffalo wings. Buffalo wings. Try again, red. Listen to the clue. Bovine. A bovine is a kind of cow. Bovines don't fly. Cows don't fly. What else? Wings. Listen for those clues. Go again. Vincent? Uh, we're going to go um, green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, the Grinch who stole Christmas is about as cuddly as one of these prickly desert plants. Vincent? Cactus. A cactus. About as cuddly as, cuddly as a cactus. About as attractive as a seasick crocodile. Yeah. The Grinch who stole Christmas. I think I know all the lies. You might as well. Go red. Let's go for let's get physical for ten. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, your question is as follows. The closer heavenly bodies are to each other, the greater this attractive force. Beltsville. Gravity? Yes, ma'am. Gravitational attraction is exactly what I wanted to hear. Go. Um, science potpourri for 10. Science potpourri for 10 points. Teams, the astronauts on the International Space Station are doing something that their mother told them never to do. They are playing with these and discovering that fire moves only one-tenth the speed that it does here on Earth. What are they playing with up there that they shouldn't be? Back a cake. They're playing with matches? Yeah, that's right. Their mother's not around today, so we're going to do what we want. Okay. Of course, it's in a controlled environment, and it's interesting. When you burn in space, the gases don't rise up because there's no gravity. It all just kind of hangs right here, so the, the fire can't really spread. That doesn't mean you should play with matches. Go, Red. Um, body systems for, for five. Body systems for five points. Teens, because this buccal organ in your body is perpetually wet, if you stick it against a cold pipe, you're going to get stuck. Tongue. Akaki. Your tongue. Your tongue, that's right. I confess, I was tempted once, and it does happen. You get stuck. Even the ice tray in your freezer, it gets stuck. Don't try it. Take it from me. Go red. Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, according to Jiminy Cricket, it makes no difference who you are when you wish upon a what? Akaki? Wish upon a star. When you wish upon a star. That's right. All right. Good first round. Our score, almost a dead heat. Akaki 85, Beltsville 80. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't you go away. You can never know which pool safety step will save a life. Until it does. No matter how safe you feel, adding multiple safety steps can mean the difference between a close call and a call to 911. Simple steps save lives. To learn some new ones, visit poolsafely.gov. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Thank you for spending time with us today. Six young people here today, and they've not been here before, but you'd never know it. They've adapted to Science Bowl so nicely. Let's find out about them. Let's go to Akakeek Academy and find out about the school and about the young people. Vincent, I have to ask you first about these lab coats. Did you guys wear them just for us today? Uh, yes, we did. We appreciate that. You look very professional over there. And you told me earlier that they're not keepers, they're loners, right? Yes. You've got to give them back. I don't know about that, but maybe if you're really nice, I'll see if I can put in a good word for you. You guys look really professional. Tell me, Vincent, uh, where is Akakeek? That's way down in the southern part of the county, right? Yes. Yeah. And what's this academy? Um, it's basically, it's not really one um, building, but it's two buildings under one. Um, group under one principal, actually. Right, and you have like a, a, an elementary division that goes up to the sixth grade, and uh, then yes, yes, is that right? Yeah. And then you have a middle school, the seventh and eighth. 
Yes. Yeah, and they have already competed here on Science Boy in the middle school division. Nice to have you guys here. Who's the sponsor of your team? Um, our sponsor's name is Ms. Forbes. Ms. Forbes, yeah, and she always sends us a great team, and she'll be out in a few moments so you can meet her. And you had an alternate on your team, too. Who's that? Her name is Samaris. Yeah, and Samaris, she looks good, too, in her lab coat. You'll get a chance to meet her. Vincent, tell me about Akakik Academy. What do you like best about your school? Um, really, I like uh, how spaced out it is because, like, at the elementary school, it was always just go to the classroom that's right next door. Yeah. Um, but now it's like, you know, we can move around and see um, people that used to be in our class or that we used to know. Um, walking down the hall to our and, classes. Isn't that important? School is social as well as academic. You want to see your friends, you want to have a chance to roam around, you want to feel like you're not just boxed in somewhere. That's a really good observation. And you want to be an engineer someday, is that right? Yes, sir. This young man is a very good math student as well as a science student. You keep up your good work. Danny, nice to have you here with us today. Tell us the Danny story. What do you do in your spare time? Um, I play video games, and if I have a new Lego set, I will build it. Uh, all right, so you sound like you're an engineer, too, just like Vince. What do you want to do someday, Dan? I'll become a JAG lawyer. I see. And how'd you get interested in that? Well, my family, and I see myself that I'm good at arguing, and I'm always doing stuff that would point to being, to yeah. being counselor or lawyering. Yeah. You like to talk, do you? Yes. Yeah, Wait, lawyers like to part? talk. What's that? Who told you that part? No, I'm just figuring that out. I figure if you wanted to be a lawyer, you know, lawyers usually like to talk a lot. They have to be persuasive, and uh, I think you'd do well at that, Danny. And Sasha, nice to have you here. This young man who wants to be a heart surgeon someday because of the money, but also there's some other reasons, right? Right? Tell us why. Because, like, I will learn a lot about things. I will learn about the body, and I'll get to, I'll get to meet new people every day. And just just to know that I um, like their life is in my hands, and I could like like fix them, and I could make them healthy again. Just lets me, just makes me know that like I'm like a good person. Oh, absolutely! You're a good person already, and you'll continue to be in saving people's lives. What better calling is there than that? You're a fine young man. Nice to have you here. Good luck. We'll call you Doctor Bahari someday. Veltsu, nice to have you here. These young ladies uh, were actually assembled at the very last moment, and we are so happy you're here today. All sixth graders at Beltsville, also like an academy, goes from first or kindergarten up to eighth grade. Pre K until eighth grade. Wow, all the way. So you can spend a lot of time in Beltsville if you're so disposed. Grace, tell me about uh, your school. Who's your principal? Miss Edwards. All right, and she is out there. I know she's rooting for you. And the sponsor of your team? Miss Angeli. Yes, and Miss Angeli also took over for another sponsor. We appreciate all the work she's done and for getting you here today. You had no alternates on your team, right? Just the three of you. Mm -hmm. You are more than enough. Uh, tell me about Beltsville Academy. Uh, what is it you like best about your school? What do you brag about? Um. I'm sure you have good teachers there. Yeah. And uh, that always makes for a great school. And uh, sometimes students come on and they say lunch, which is also important. You've got to like the food. Uh, and I like, have, go ahead. I like that it's the same building, but the elementary and the rural school parts are separate. Oh, so it's nice that you can kind of stay as a, as a little kid, if you will, for a while before you have to get mixed in with the upperclassmen. That's a yep. good observation, too. Grace, tell me about yourself. What do you want to do someday? I want to rescue animals. Yeah, because you have a dog at home, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and right now you're involved in some animal rescue work, aren't you? Do you take in any kind of stray pets or, or anything of that sort? No. No, but I know you'd probably like to. I volunteered at the Greenbelt Animal Shelter over the summer. Very nice. Yeah, that's, that's, that is doing great work because those animals, they're much like people. They need love. Luz, nice to have you with us today. Tell me about yourself. Now, you're a soccer player. And you play in the Boys and Girls Club in Beltsville, is that right? Yes. Yeah. How long have you played soccer? For, since I was seven. Wow. So you're kind of a scholar athlete. You're good on the playing field. You're good here on science ball. Tell me how you know so much about science. I, I like science because of the experiments. I like to make, make new observations. Yeah. You made a volcano, didn't you? Yes. We've all done that. And what did you use? 
Vinegar and baking soda. Vinegar and baking soda, yeah. Your mother probably has to clean up. Maybe you cleaned up after yourself, but it makes a mess, but it's, it's worth it. It's really worth it. So, Tina, nice to have you with us today. Tell us about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? I like to draw and play my flute. Play your flute. And you say you've been practicing your flute. We talked earlier. How long have you practiced? Um, three years. Three years. That's a long time to be an accomplished musician. You can't make excuses. You've just got to practice. Is there an orchestra at Bellsville that you play in? Yes. That's great. All right, keep up your good work. Let's get back into our game. 85 for Akakik, 80 for Beltsville. Lots of points to give away. The tougher questions coming up. Get on your thinking caps. Get ready to work, guys. Here we go. Start out. Grace, you gave us the last correct answer. Start us again. Green things, 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, beavers, crocodiles, and seals, even though they don't have moist skin or lay eggs in the water, they, like frogs and toads that live part on land and part in water, are considered these. Beltsville. Amphibians. Yes, they are amphibious type animals. Absolutely right. You listened to everything I said and came up with the answer. Nice job. Go. Um, zoo Parade 15? Zoo Parade for 15. Uh, that was the Zoo Parade for 15 points, I believe, yes? Yeah. Yes. Could you choose another, please? That so we have the Zoo Parade, we've done 5, 10, and 15 thus far. Um, body Systems 10? Body Systems for 10 points. Teams, what body system doesn't have to work as hard if you remember before you eat to grind and marinate your food? Akakik? Digestive system. Absolutely right. The digestive system says, thank you. You're not just gulping things down. You're breaking down the tissues so the nutrients are easier to extract. Nicely done. Go, Vince. Uh, we're going to uh, go Excuse me. For... One moment. Could we turn the light out, please, there, Shirley? Thank you. Go, Vincent. We're going to go um, Dateline Science for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Team, scientists have confirmed what cooks have known all along. If you're making a recipe and you run out of nutmeg, you can use cinnamon or cardamom or ginger as a substitute because they are all very similar kinds of what? Beltsville. Spices? Yes, those are all spices made from plant parts other than leaves. If they're made from leaves, they're known as herbs. 110 to 95, still a horse race here. Go green. Um, science potpourri, 15. Science potpourri for 15 points. Teams, I hope you play outside a lot in the winter, even though the weather's not good, because the sunshine helps you to make what very important vitamin that you can only get from the sun. Beltsville. Vitamin D. Vitamin D, absolutely right. You actually can get it from dairy products, but outside sunlight is the best source of vitamin D. Good, go, green. Green things, 20. Green things for 20 points, teams. Whole wheat flour is made from the entire wheat kernel, but regular flour is made just from the endosperm part of the kernel, which is made up entirely of what kind of carbohydrate? All right, Vince, what kind of carbohydrate in the endosperm? Um, what do um, you think? We're going to go with... Okay, um, don't ring in unless you have an idea. Bellsville, what kind of carbohydrate is found in the endosperm part of the wheat kernel? What do you think? Used for making flour, regular flour. Um, what? what do you think, ladies? Starch, starch, because starches and sugars are the two carbohydrates, the starches that are found in the bread that is made from the flour. Okay, no points that time. Try again, Grace. Let's yes, get physical 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, a multiple choice question. Teams, in order to get dissolved foods across cell layers from areas where it's highly concentrated to less concentrated, is that known as oscillation, osmosis, or ossification? Which O is the movement of dissolved foods that got across cell membranes? All right, Vin says, I know there are no points for guessing here. Is it osmosis, ossification, or the uh, uh, oscillation? We're going to go with osmosis. That is the correct answer. Osmosis is absolutely right. Good answer. Go red. We're going to go body systems 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, this is very interesting. Scientists come up, have come up with a new artificial heart that contains two rotors that keep the blood flowing continuously without stopping, meaning that that heart, unlike your heart, does not do this. 
Akakik. It does not beat. It does not beat. Absolutely right. Good answer. Akakik. 125 points. 125 for Beltsville. We have a tie score. Excellent playing. Go red. Uh, let's go. Fifth, uh, physical for. 25. Let's get physical for 25 points. Listen carefully, teams. A total lunar eclipse that is taking place during this month that we're taping this show happens when the Earth blots out the face of the full moon, making the face of the moon not look full anymore, but this phase. For 25 points, what phase does it appear to be Beltsville? A new moon. Yes, ma'am, a new moon. That's when the, the whole moon is blotted out. Nicely done. You're in the lead. Go green. Um... Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points. Multiple choice question. Teams, when ants find a source of food, they run back home and tell everybody where it is. But they can't talk. They lay a chemical trail and drop little bits of pheromones or steroids or endorphins along the way. Little drops of which of those, Vince? We're going to go with pheromones. That's exactly right. Pheromones. That's how animals communicate many times. Good answer. Go. Red. Let's go for systems for 20. Body systems for 20? Here's your question, teams. Sometimes the little guys who play hockey at the Verizon Center, they're so small, they're so much smaller than the Capitals, that they are said to be able to bite this joint between the leg and the foot. Akakik. The ankle? That's right. They're known as ankle biters. Good. Thank you, Danny, for your assist on that one. And with that, that puts you back in the lead. Go red. Systems for 20. Body systems. Again, please. Body systems for 20s. That was the ankle question. Oh, uh, okay. Put out. Let's get physical. Yeah. Let's get physical for 20 points. Yeah, that's that's that what they put out instead. That's what they did instead? Okay. So we do have the Let's Get Physical available for 20, and Body Systems for 25 is still available. Yeah. Yes. Is that correct, judges? Okay. Your choice. Vince, sorry to confuse you. Uh, what would you like? Let's go. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, a favorite science experiment that so many teachers do, they put Diet Coke and Mentos candy together, and it shoots out of the bottle very much like these that you see at Yellowstone National Park, Beltsville. Geysers. Yes, you make a geyser in a bottle. You talk about baking soda and vinegar making a mess. You should see what this does. Go green. Five point lead um, for Beltsville. Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points, teams. Astronauts on the space station are trying to raise some extraterrestrial vegetables but it's not easy growing things in space. I will give you 25 points if you can give me two things that are available to plants on Earth that are not available to them naturally in space. Two things not available to them naturally in space that they find here on Earth. Vincent. Water and oxygen. Water and oxygen, judges. Yes, indeed. Absolutely, they also have no soil up there and no gravity. Good, go red, please. Uh. Could we switch, We're please? We're going Go potpourri ahead. for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Teams, Dr. Bunsen Honeydew's Muppet Assistant has what same name as this piece of glassware? Akaki. Uh, beaker. Yeah, that's right. His name is Beaker because he's got kind of a, a big honker there in the front. Good answer. All right, go red. Dateline for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams. This American statesman, his face is on the $100 bill. He was also an American scientist, Beltsville. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin, best known for flying a kite during an electrical storm. Yes, ma'am. Good. Go. Um, zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25 points. The big one in that category, teams. What B initialed phenomenon, what B initialed phenomenon would have to be an effect for Rudolph to have a red nose that glowed in the dark? No takers? Bioluminescence, just like fireflies have in their abdomens. No points. Still, 210 Akakik, 190 Beltsville, Choice Graces. Three questions left. Science potpourri for 25. Science potpourri for 25 points. Teams, look at the monitor, please. This is a visual question. The greatest light show on Earth is this. Name it. 
The Northern Lights. Again? The Northern Lights. The Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis. Absolutely right. Yes, sir. Go, Vince. Uh, let's go Body Systems 25. Body Systems for 25 points. A multiple choice question. Teams, if you are given the wrong blood type, your body will react by producing your own antibodies, antihistamines, or antiplatelets. Belt's antibodies? Belt. Antibodies is correct. Yes, ma'am. Last question of the game worth 25 points under Dateline. Here's the scenario. Akakik has 235, Beltsville has 215. This will decide the game. Good luck, teams. Your question dateline for 25 points. Teams, there is a new kind of contact lens being developed that will actually display computer data on your eye by projecting it backwards onto the back of the eye onto the screen that is known as the what? Beltsville for 25 points in the game. What is that screen at the back of the eye known as? The retina. You got it for 25 points in the game. It is indeed the retina. Nicely done. We will be back with a wrap up of this game in just a moment. Don't go away. Play might be the best way to fight obesity. Because staying connected makes my family stronger, healthier, and happier. Because a safe place after school can lead to success in school. Because physical activity is vital to my health and well-being. Because I need to make my world better. Because playing team sports teaches the character and social skills that build leaders. Because learning with others makes for a greater understanding. Because we need each other. Because we need each other. Because we need each other. Welcome back to Science Bowl. I could not be prouder of these young people, the way they played today's game. Not only are they great students, they're great sportsmen, they're congratulating each other. We're going to hear a lot from these young people. Look at that final tally today, because it came down to the last question. Akakik 235, Beltsville 240 by a whisker. Ladies, you didn't find out until today you were coming, and here you are, a winner. Satita and Grace and Luz and Miss Angeli, congratulations today. Nicely played, and I want to see some smiles over here. It's tough when it's that close, but you guys were so Superb today. Vince and Dan and Sashin and Samaras, I know you're very proud of these young people too, and that you look good in your coat, as they do. Ms. Forbes, thank you for all your hard work. Love to have you back each year, and love to have you here as well. See you next time on Science Bowl. Bye bye.